All right, YouTube. I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, how to wire up a uh, a three-way switch um, in this home right here. There's can lights. There's a can light. There's a can light right there, and there's a can light over there, and there's a can light right here and a can light above my head. We had to install them can lights and run the wires. The client wanted a switch to turn the can lights on here. And then when he come into the front door, he wanted to be able to turn his can lights on here, right? So this right here turns the main fan off right there once we get it that's just temporary light so we can spray the ceiling but that's set up so we can uh so we can turn this fan on and off so in order to achieve a three-way it's pretty well simple on a three-way people mostly get it confused because of how many wires it is you always when you're doing a three-way you run, you, you buy you either 12 3 wire or 14 3 wire. It has, to have, it has to have the red or the black. Sometimes you can use the white if, there, if it's there, but that's just a little bit more advanced. This is for your average DIY person. So you pull your hot end, goes to the bottom terminal. Your two, your 14, three or 12, three wire goes to your top. Your, your black and your white go to your top of your lugs. See on both sides, it goes to the top of the lugs. Right there, that's, that's power coming in. And then it, power travels through both of these top ones. So when you come over here, then your, your, your 14, three or your 12, three wire will drop off into here. It will drop off. Your whites will go together. Your, your whites will always stay together. And then see, here's your black and, and your, uh, your red and black will come to the top lugs. And then on this bottom lug is your lights. This runs to the lights right here. This will actually run into your light feed, which our first light feed is right here first light feed comes in and then then it will jump to the second one over there and then jump from that and to over there and then jump from that and to up here and that'd be your that'd be the end of the feed um any questions put them in the comments um i'll try to answer my my best ability just remember Oh, when you when you go to feed a three-way switch your bottom lug is your power lug these are top two feeds to your other switch so I'll show y'all again this is how it works this is main power coming in to the switch box it feeds the bottom lug these two go to the other three-way switch that's what talks and just remember all your whites go together See all your whites in there? Now, if you open up a circuit panel or circuit box, if you open it up and, the, and you have a three-way switch and you notice that there's a white on the bottom, they're using that wire as a hot. So don't get it confused. That wire will be hot if you see a white on this bottom lug. Um, electricians wire them differently. This is the way I wire mine. Um, I've always wired them this way. It just makes it easier when you install a new construction like this or doing a remodel. So, and then you come over here and then when you're, this will be your power feed in from your other switch. And then this goes to your light. That's how, that's how it works. So your bottom lug will be your, your lights going out and on your power feed into your switches your bottom load is your power feed in it's either way it's how it that's how it's set up on a three-way it it can get a little confusing lug itself right here when you see a 
a white there that they're just using a white as a hot different things and that means that the power is normally in the ceiling or at the box instead of at the at the switch so just keep that in mind here's a good tool to help y'all um make sure something's hot i'll leave it in the description um my link if y'all purchase it i do you know earn a commission on it um this tool right here will tell you if something's hot real quick like see how see how it works it's a great tool it lets you know that if if a wire is hot it will tell you see if i touch the whites it does nothing if i touch the top of this black it shows it's hot because the light is on right now see the light is on up there um, right there um but see if i if i flip the switch if i turn the switch off now that one that was hot is not hot no more if i flip the switch on now it becomes hot it's a great tool that if you think you flip the breaker off you can always check it is hot or not see like this side of the plug is not hot because that's your neutral side but this side is hot because that's the hot side it will tell you if something is hot no matter if it's like a micro little bit running through there um it can be less than like I think it says like 0.5 volts or something like that. So, and two, a lot of people get it confused because if you rub it on your, it picks up the static electricity on your clothes. That's how well it picks up electricity. So if you get it, just barely get it there, it's already picking it up. It's just a, a, a good device to keep, so it can save your life. You know, you don't end up shocking yourself. But once you get into big stuff like 220 and 480 and 460, that stuff gets dangerous because it, it can grab you and not let go of you. And uh, just a cool tool to have in your arsenal when working on electricity. And it, it, it just shows you that, you know, this stuff is hot. And say like, for instance, you're in a home and you see a wire hanging out like that and you're like, hmm, I wonder if it's hot. And you just touch this side and see it don't even say nothing. But if you look right here, it don't, it don't do nothing. But when we flip the switch, I flip the switch. Now, now it's hot. You see what I'm saying? So it, it just, it, it helps you protect yourself when opening up a box. You think you flip the breaker off and... It's a great tool to have in your tool bag. It fits in the pencil part of your, your tool bag. And But I'll leave a link in the description uh, to Amazon. If y'all use my link, I do earn a commission off of it. And I greatly appreciate that. That's what helps me do these videos. Um, I will try to do more uh, how-to videos to help share my knowledge. Uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe and uh, I'll post another one next week. Thank you